Hello, I'm Peter Frankham, Principal Horn of Royal Northern Symphonia. And this little video is aimed at young players. Uh, and what I'd like to talk about is alternative fingerings. When I started off having lessons, uh, I was given a set of fingerings and uh, I duly went away and, and learned pieces using those fingerings. Um, but as I got older, I realised I could have used different fingerings. And the trouble is when, you, when you're young, it tends to get hardwired and it's very difficult to unlearn those fingerings. So, what I want you to do is to experiment more with, with uh, alternative fingerings. And I'd like to give you a few examples. Uh, we're told that on the F horn, for the second line G, open is the best note, and that, that's true because it sounds nice. And if we play it on the B flat horn, we play it on the first valve, and it sounds a little bit flat. But you can learn if you if you think it higher and learn to pitch it higher, it comes out higher, and it's much easier in a run of notes to play using that first valve rather than an open valve. And there are many more examples of this because we're told that G sharp, second line G sharp, should be second and third. But it works equally well on second valve as well. As you can imagine, it's much faster using only one valve rather than two valves. So think about using G sharp for that, a second valve for G sharp. Uh, another one to think about is D, third line D. We're told to start with to play it on one and two. I'm talking about on the, on the B flat horn, obviously, uh, one and two. But on most horns, especially on Alexander's and these, one and two is a bit sharp. Sounds high. So we have to modify that by bringing our hand in on, on the bell. Just brings it down in pitch. Now we can use this to our advantage because if you have to play something quietly, you put your hand in the bell there and just bring that note down a bit. And you get a nice quiet sound. But if you wanted to play something like Don Juan, and it has to be loud, it sounds too sharp when you play it like that because you don't want to put your hand in the bell. So if you use third valve for Ds and for As, anything that uses one and two in the third, it tends to be a tiny bit flat. So if you open your hand out as you're playing, you can play it in tune. <laughs> Using that third valve and opening your hand, it comes into tune. Now there are many more examples of alternative fingerings, but before you learn a piece properly, experiment with alternative fingerings, it'll save you a lot of heartache. Okay, bye.